His gift of love we will celebrate The Son of God who loved us And gave us life We'll shout your praise, O Lord You give us joy nothing else can bring We'll give to you our offering and celebration praise. Come on and celebrate, celebrate, celebrate and sing. Celebrate and sing to the Lord. Come on and celebrate. Good afternoon to everyone and hearty welcome to today's Holy Eucharistic celebration. Diocese of Nalgunda, Jatcharla Parish. This Mass is offered for the Vivani TV Carpos Fund owner, late Poti Reddy Rajapuredi. May his soul rest in peace. Offered by Poti Reddy Sujata, Tarun Reddy Chaitanya, Penta Reddy Ravant Reddy. Tapaswi, Tumma Amareddi, Tejashwini and family members. Today's Rosary, Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God, Holy Hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ today let us reflect over the theme called the parable of the lamp if we observe today's gospel reading jesus christ will pave the way for light of faith you and i are supposed to live a light of faith in our lives by the virtue of baptism we are called to live a light of faith but so many times due to human weaknesses we have failed to live a light of faith and we have failed to walk in the footsteps of our Lord Jesus Christ. As we participate in this most holy Eucharistic celebration, let us seek pardon and ask mercy of God as we participate in this holy Mass. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through, through my fault, through, through my, my most, most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ to have mercy. Christ to have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The devious person is an abomination to the Lord. First reading, a reading from the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 27 to 34. 
do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when it is in your power to do it do not say to your neighbor go and come again tomorrow i will give it when you have it with you do not plan evil against your neighbor who dwells trustingly beside you do not contend with a man for no reason when he has done you no harm do not envy a man of violence and do not choose any of his ways for the devious person is an abomination to the lord but the upright are in his confidence the lord's curse is on the house of the wicked but he blesses the dwelling of the na- righteous towards the scorn- scorners he is scornful but to the humble he gives favor the word of the lord thanks be to god a responsorial psalm a response who shall dwell on your holy mountain o lord who shall dwell on your holy mountain o lord whoever walks without fault who does what is just and speaks the truth from his heart whoever does not slander with his tongue our response who shall dwell on your holy mountain o lord who shall dwell on your holy mountain o lord who does no wrong to a neighbor who casts no slur on a friend who looks with scorn on the wicked but honors those who fear the lord our response who shall dwell on your holy mountain o lord who shall dwell on your holy mountain o lord who lends no money at interest and accepts no bribes against the innocent such a man shall never be shaken our response who shall dwell on your holy mountain o lord who shall dwell on your holy mountain o lord holy gospel according to st luke glory to you o lord st luke's gospel chapter 8 verses from 16 to 18 at that time jesus said to the crowds no one after lighting a lamp covers it with a jar or puts it under a bed but puts it on a stand so that those who enter may see the light for nothing is hidden that will not be made manifest nor is anything secret that will not be known and come to light take care then how you hear for to the one who has more will be given and from the one who has not even what he thinks that he has will be taken away the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ 
today let us reflect over the theme called the parable of the lamp today's gospel presents us by this the parable of the lamp that as we are christians our role is in this world to shine and to manifest to others by our way of living the light of faith as we are called by god by the virtue of baptism we are supposed to shine and manifest to others especially by our way of living the light of faith it is not only being good but also doing good we are christians my dear faithful in jesus christ it is not enough that we are being good rather doing good is also important in our lives theory as well as practice must be implemented in our lives that's why my dear faithful in jesus christ we received this light of faith when we were baptized it symbolizes that christ himself who is the light who is the truth that's why my dear faithful jesus christ is the light and he is the truth we need to enkindle that light always in our lives and we need to be a bearers of light st john's gospel there we see chapter 8 was 12 i am the light as sami says chapter 36 was 9 in his light we see light as sami says chapter 119 was 105 there we see his word is a lamp that guides our steps my dear faithful in jesus christ we need to enkindle the spirit within us we need to be a bearers of light we need to shine god's grace we need to manifest to others especially by living gospel values in fact if we deeply observe today's gospel jesus used this imagery the lamp we need to reflect and understand how his disciples are to live in the light of his truth and love yes my dear faith in jesus christ jesus christ described this imagery the parable of the lamb that you and i are supposed to live the light of his truth and love as jesus christ told his disciples to live in a similar way we are also supposed to be a light bearers because our mission is to be light bearers of christ so that others may see the truth of the gospel we need to be a missionary we need to fill our hearts with the gifts and fruits of the holy spirit in order to shine in order to manifest the light of christ are we ready enough to share to manifest the light of christ are you ready enough to live according to god's will are you ready enough to be the bearers of light of faith let us introspect and examine ourselves deeply as st paul writes letter to ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 there we see put on the whole armor of god so that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil surely my dear faith in jesus christ we need to put on the whole armor of god we need to put on the shield of faith we need to have light of faith so that we may be able to live according to god's will in our lives 
when we live according to god's will surely we will become a true disciple of the lord that's why matthew's gospel chapter 16 verse 24 there we see if anyone wants to follow me let him deny himself take up his cross and follow me it is not easy enough to follow christ it is not easy enough to follow the gospel values it is not enough to be the light bearer of christ my dear faithful today god is challenging us yes god our lord jesus christ informed to his disciples by the using of imagery lamp today we are also the followers and the disciples of jesus christ we need to live the light of his truth and love but most of the times we are not able to live according to gospel values so many times we are not able to keep up the standards of gospel values joy peace and love my dear faithful in jesus christ only today the gospel values just to remain on the bookish level just on the theory level we are christians we boldly say i am christian i am follower of jesus christ we are most of the times in a theoretical level but not in practical level as i have told you being good doing good just we are being good it is not enough we need to move from being good to doing good because we are true followers of jesus christ by the virtue of baptism you and i are called to shine and manifest the light of christ because we need to enkindle the light of christ in our hearts we need to fill our hearts with the gifts and fruits of the holy spirit we need to expel the darkness in our lives that's why we are specially called by the by the virtue of baptism we need to expel the darkness the devilish things that or in our hearts and we need to fill our hearts with the light of Christ that is kingdom and gospel values my dear faithful in Jesus Christ as we participate in this most holy eucharistic celebration let us ask god is a strength let us inculcate gospel values let us imbibe the gospel values in order to be is true disciple and shine and manifest the light of christ in our lives wherever we are may almighty god bless all of us amen my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ let us put forth all our intentions to the almighty father merciful father we specially pray for our catholic church our pope francis cardinal pula antoni our archbishop all the bishops the clergy and the religious lord bless all of them grant them good health of mind and body as they proclaim your good news so that they may be guided by your holy spirit and live according to your own will for this we pray lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer almighty and our living god we specially remember and pray for our divya vani tv lord we remember and pray for all the priest sisters and the staff members bless them abundantly grant them good health of mind and body Lord we also remember and pray for our benefactors who are rendering our service who are rendering their services and donation in different forms 
Lord, bless all their families, children, so that they may all live for your kingdom values. For this we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we pray especially for the people who are watching this Holy Mass, who are participating in this most holy Eucharistic celebration. Lord, bless them abundantly. Lord, bless all the people who are offered Holy Masses. Bless their intentions. Enlighten their minds. Lord, bless their children as they are studying. Enlighten their hearts and minds. Shower upon them your gifts and fruits of the Holy Spirit. Shower upon them your knowledge so that they may excel in their own lives. For this we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us silently put forward the community and the personal needs. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you, our holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me let us proclaim the mystery of faith save us savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis of pope cardinal paul anthony our archbishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters we have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all we have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints we have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coerced to a life and we praise and glory for you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we day to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the lamb of God Behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those who are called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed may the body and blood of christ keep me safe from eternal life amen prayer of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if we were already there, and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The table spread where the saints have caught a fan. He invites his chosen people come and dine with his manna. He will feed and supplies our every need. Oh, it's sweet to sleep with Jesus all the time. Come and dine, a master calling. Come and dine. At Jesus' table all the time, all the time. He who fed the multitude turned the water into wine. To the hungry, call the crowd, come and die. The disciples came to land, thus obey Christ's command. For the master called unto them, come and die. There they found their heart's desire, bread and fish upon the fire. Does he satisfy the hunger every time? Come and dine, a master call it, come and dine. You may feast at Jesus' table all the time, all the time. He who fed the multitude, turned the Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those who renew with this sacrament that we may come to possess your redemption both in mystery and in the manner of our life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. I'm rejoicing night and day As I walk the pilgrim way for the hand of God in all my life I see And the reason of my place is the sacred all is this That the Comforter abides in me He abides, He abides Hallelujah, He abides in me He abides, He abides Hallelujah, He Abides in me. I'm rejoicing night and day as I walk the narrow way, for the Comforter abides in me. Once my heart was full of sin, and I had no peace within, till I heard how Jesus died upon the tree. Then I fell down at his feet, and there came a peace so sweet. Now the Comforter abides in me. He abides, He abides, Hallelujah, He abides in me. He abides, He abides, Hallelujah, He abides in me. I'm rejoicing night and day as I walk the narrow way, and the Comforter abides in me. For the Comforter.
comforter abides in me. 